Dairy farming is booming and farmers here in Nyeri County have found ways to increase their production as well as the quality of their cow breeds. Today we meet Mr. Gishohi who has benefited from mest interventions in dairy farming within the county. Welcome to Rescue My Business. I'm Shiko Kaitani and this is Daisy. <laughs> Kenya's dairy industry is dynamic and plays an important economic and nutritional aspect of the Kenyan population. Participation in this value chain ranges from farmers to milk hawkers, processors and consumers. A study by Tegemeo Institute of Agricultural Policy and Development has identified Kenya as the second country in Africa after South Africa that produces enough milk for both domestic consumption and export. Nyeri County has numerous dairy cooperatives and one of them is the Gakindu Dairy Cooperative Society who have partnered with the Micro Enterprises Support Program Trust. The dairy is situated in Mukuruweni district. The cooperative society has a registered membership of about 2,000 dairy farmers. For years, farmers have been using traditional farming techniques for long-term production of milk. However, it wasn't long until Mr. Efantes Gishohi, the chairman of Gakindu Society and his members, realized that their farming businesses were performing below revenue expectation and their business models were inadequate. We realized that uh, like uh, the animal feeds, we, the, there was a problem with the animal feeds and that is a national issue whereby we are while getting uh, very poor quality standards of meal, of, uh, of dairy meals. So we decided that if we make our own dairy meal, we are sure of the quality and the content of the raw materials. And we are able now to make a very quality dairy meal, whereby if you feed your animal, you'll get an eclipse of two kilos of milk. And if you now don't feed your animal, you get a reduction of the milk. With the desire to achieve more from their business ventures, the Gakindu Society sought assistance from MEST, who not only came on board to support and finance various projects, but also introduced new technologies in the dairy value chain. MESTEP really has already uh, helped us to get some uh, kind of new technologies, especially on the way we are now weighing our, our milk. The farmers are benefiting a lot because there before we were using analog, now we are using digital waste scales. And the importance of uh, uh, digital waste scale is the points. There before we used to scoop some milk and we'll turn it to the farmer. If it doesn't add to a, a maybe a half a kilo of the milk. Nowadays, the digital waste scales are able to capture even the points and make them accumulatively. And at the end of the month, it makes something good for the farmers. Being a solution provider for farmers, MEST called on Gakindu to draw a proposal of the various challenges and needs that they wanted addressed. Top on the list was milk cooling equipment. A substantial portion of their milk was lost to spoilage arising from delays in collection. They were able to acquire an instant cooling system to address the post-harvest losses. With this investment, they can now preserve milk for longer and farmers have three opportunities in a day to deliver their milk to the dairy. At milking point, the cow's milk temperature is approximately 35 degrees Celsius, which must be quickly cooled down to about 4 to 6 degrees Celsius to prevent and minimize microorganic growth. Naturally, milk retains a natural resistance to bacteria immediately after extraction, but rapid cooling can make the shelf life longer. The instant cooling system here at Gakindu Dairy Cooperative Society means all farmers can now drop off their milk with ease, knowing there will be no reports of spoiled milk which accumulates to poor pay. We have told our farmers that if you produce 
about 50 liters, 20 liters, we are ready to pick it on your farm gate. And the way we are doing it, we, are, we have come up with a piloting project on collector milk with motorbikes. Because we want to create employment to our youth, so we are contracting our youth to collect the milk with motorbikes. So they are our service provider. Another component of Gakindu Dairy's proposal to MEST was the challenge in getting quality and affordable animal feeds. They were supported and financed to put up this animal feed production house, where they now produce their own brand called Pokea Feeds, which is approved and permitted for sale by the Kenya Bureau of Standards, KEBS. The factory generates income for the society as well as provides employment opportunities for the people in this area. The setup of this production center took a whopping 2.5 million Kenya shillings, which included purchase of the processing and mixing animal feed machinery. Over in Olengroni, we come across the Olengroni Dairy Cooperative Society who echoed the same sentiments as the Gakindu Society about MESPT. From humble beginnings, they too have seen tremendous growth as a cooperative, having been a beneficiary of MESPT products and services. Having kicked off as just an ordinary dairy cooperative society to assist local farmers in marketing their milk at reasonable prices, the Olengoroni Society discovered that they were limiting their potential for growth because of the services they offered their members. It was at this point, back in 2012, that they turned to the Micro Enterprises Support Program Trust to give the society a financial boost and technical support. After the intervention, Olengrone Dairy Cooperative Society has become a powerhouse within the area and can boast about their integrated business model, which includes two milk collection centers, an agrovet shop, and a financial institution known as the Mavuno Daima Sako Limited. The operations of the three are integrated such that farmers' records are easily accessed, hence it's easy to deliver services at the AgroVet and the SACO through a checkoff system. This makes it a one-stop shop, which means happy days for the Olengroni farmers. The Mavuno Dai Masako was initially the Olengoroine FSA, which only offered loan products to dairy farmers only. This, however, changed after MEST gave them a loan to upgrade. They rebranded to Mavuno Sako, which not only offers loans, also provides banking services to both members and non-members. Both the farmers and the officials attribute this great milestone to MEST and they believe their lives have changed drastically. When MEPS came in, we told them about, about our, our challenges. We want to assist farmers, but we don't have the capacity. So what they did was they say, okay, if that's the problem, we can be able to give you some soft loan, at even a small, okay, we'll charge interest, but maybe slightly higher than what they are giving us, eh, so that we're able to, to maintain. So to capture your pesa, we gave us five million shillings as a loan. Then we said, where we are accommodated now is a rented premise. We are paying rent, even we got some interest from these farmers, it was still going back to pay rent. So we said, let us let us let us split this money, five million to two. Two million yearly could revolve as a as a as a loan, three million to change your to our own, so that finally finally we'll have we'll own our own building where we don't pay rent. Not to come up and so we are putting slightly more than three million now, but we are able. To, we are going to. We hope we and we pray we are going to finish this building. So already we are moved in. We are we are now closing those ones where we are renting. The twenty thousand we are paying every month will now help us decide to put up other things. So we are we are making a savings. Yeah, and we have come to our own promise. The Olengurene Dairy Cooperative Society's primary concern now is to put up a new milk collection center at Olengurene Town since this one you see here was built in 1952. 
These are all vital additions to their operations. Before mess intervention, they had their fair share of challenges that included milk spoilage, loss of members to competitors and poor markets. Uh, the, the, the problems we had during that time was uh, we were not getting enough milk. We were not having our own transporters. So we, had, we have to look for transporters and also the market. Prices were down. With the introduction of the milk chillers at all their collection points, farmers here have a convenient drop-off point and consumers are assured of high-quality milk thanks to the modern preservation practices and the lab tests that determine the quality of all received milk. This scaling up and offering of better services has attracted more farmers to the cooperative and even their competitors are now seeking an opportunity to buy their milk because of its quality assurance. Right now we are selling our milk to three processors, KCC, Happy Cow and Countryside. Yeah. To add the cherry on top, the Olenguroni Dairy Cooperative Society have a fully stocked agrovet, which serves the farmers within the area just like the Gakindu Dairy Cooperative Society in Nyeri. The small scale farmer now has access to affordable animal feeds as well as veterinary services and products. For the Gakindu Society, their collection and bulking center has been life transforming. The Dairy Cooperative Society can boast about receiving an average of 3,200 litres of milk per day from its members. While their plans for value addition are currently on the drawing board, they are happy to know that their milk contributes to creating high consumable products for major brands in Kenya such as butterfat, cream, curds and industrialised milk such as yoghurt cheeses and ice cream. Embryo transfer is proving to be a very successful technique in animal breeding here in Yeri. Let's find out more about this new practice that's taking dairy farming by storm. The Kindu dairy farmers are a happy lot since the introduction of a new breeding technology in the dairy value chain, known as embryo transfer. This is an advanced reproductive technology and progressive tool that helps dairy farmers produce more offspring from an inferior cow, leading to better breeds and higher milk yields. After initial contact with the East African Semen and Embryo Transfer Association, support to implement the program was sought from their partners ASPSP and MEST. As a holistic solution provider, MEST saw a need to market Gakindu Dairy and hence they were considered to be the first farmers dairy cooperative in Kenya to use the embryo transfer technology. Embryo transfer is very important to the farmers because like now here we are on my farm, I was practicing natural, uh, the, the natural way of breeding animals. For you to get a pedigree animal, it takes you 7 to 10 years. And uh, I have already achieved, to, uh, I have two pedigree animals that have taken me 7 to 10 years. But when you use the new technology of embryo transfer, within 9 months you have a pedigree animal. And that animal has a value of about 150 after uh, birth date. So you can see that uh, if someone is to take to spend about uh, seven to ten years, and you are within nine months you have a pet grandma, that will now uh, make the farmers to have very good animals within a very short time. The technology involves the transfer of embryos from genetically superior animals into inferior ones to produce superior offspring and increase milk production. The animal can even produce between uh, 30 to 40 liters a day. If it is well fed, it is, if the cow is well brought up, they will give you up to that length. 
The donor cow is first conditioned with hormones to induce ovulation, thereby releasing several eggs. It is then inseminated to ensure all the eggs are fertilized upon which the embryos are flushed out after seven days in a specialized procedure. Take Sassini and Nominata for instance. Two calves who are products of the embryo transfer exercise. They belong to one of the dairy farmers from the Gakindu Society and are worth a surprising amount of more than 150,000 Kenya shillings at only 10 months. Gakindu Dairy has been a beneficiary of many other technology-based interventions. With support from MEST, a dairy management and ICT system linking up their milk sheds to the Central Milk Collection Center at Gakindu Market was procured and deployed. There is also a milk collection software that is integrated to digital skills, making data collection easier, more credible and ensures that dairy farmers are able to track all their milk deliveries by SMS confirmation. A revolution that ensures data sharing in real time. They're using a software called PMAP. So when the farmer comes, the clerk will request for her number, member number, key in into the phone. The name will display on the screen of the phone. Then when she pours her milk, the waste will read the milk, the, the, the amount of milk that has been weighed, and relay that information to this phone. Then the clerk will be able to accept and print a receipt with this thermal printer. These technologies in the dairy value chain have truly transformed Gakindu dairy farmers' lives and their way of doing business. They have attracted visitors from far and wide, including outside the country, who come to learn of their successful business model. Back at Olengurone, farmers from the Olengurone Dairy Cooperative Society testify as to how their agribusinesses and personal lives have also changed for the better thanks to their membership at the Olengurone Society. Take Edwin Kirui, for example, who says the services offered at the center have given him peace of mind. As a member, he has been able to access loans and even animal feeds on credit. I needed a loan to establish myself. As you can see, there are some, uh, I had uh, some uh, structures which were incomplete by them. They gave me and I had uh, another herd, which at, at the moment I have uh, around nine animals, or nine milking cows, dairy cows, and I have seven heifers. For Edwin Kirui, his output in terms of milk collection has risen due to better quality feeds and trainings on dairy farming supported by MEST. With an average of 30,000 Kenya shillings per week, Edwin's earnings have allowed him to upgrade his lifestyle and enjoy his life and his work in these evergreen hilly parts of Nakuru County. I want to encourage uh, my fellow dairy farmers to just uh, come in to this uh, industry because it's well paying. Recently I bought a new car, I have a new home, and uh, also my, uh, my children are schooling because of dairy. The farmers both at Gakindu and Olengroene have proven that young people can sustain themselves through farming and can shy away from viewing agriculture as an activity of people without any other option of work. I want to encourage as many farmers uh, to come out if they feeling maybe they are not ready to farm, they should talk to us and we can tell them how to go about it. As, because we believe in every part of Kenya there is a commodity that stands out, there is a commodity that, that can do very well in that region. So all they need to have is, is, a, is a linkage to the market and a linkage to the financial services and also extension services and all that we are able to provide at MESP. For the Gakindu and Olengrone Dairy Cooperative Societies, teaming up with MEST was one of the best decisions they made collectively. With systems now in place and fully operational, farmers in both Nakuru and Nyeri counties are confident to carry on with their dairy farming thanks to MESS business services. 
You too can learn more on how to get MES services that include capacity building and market linkages, soil and water management, energy audits and efficiency, post-harvest loss management, global certification, financial services. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Dairy Farming from right here in Nyeri County. If you too would like to find out how MEST can help you, get in touch with us through the MEST call center through the number on your screen or through our Facebook page. On behalf of Daisy and I, we say thanks for watching Rescue My Business. I'm Shiko Kaitani.